A long time ago, I read a quote from somewhere, I can't remember where now, but the quote had a lasting effect on me. The quote is, whether you're walking, crawling, jogging, hopping, flying or swimming, just make sure you're making progress. Growing up in a home where we didn't have all we needed taught me this lesson the hard way. Personally, I'm not too fond of sub stories, but the story goes that I didn't grow up with a silver spoon, yet I enjoyed more privileges than a few kids from middle class families enjoy. I always had almost everything I wanted and never had to work so hard because my parents, bless their souls, treated me like their favorite. Well, the downside of that is that I grew so dependent on them. I never really learned early to take responsibility for my life. Things didn't change until I got into the university and I felt all alone. Now, I was facing life squarely on my own without parents helping. To make it worse, I was studying a course I was clueless about. But too early, I had formed a habit of reading all I could. By this time, I was reading more self-help books and other kinds of books I could get my hands on. It was from reading one of those books that I discovered what I would do with my life. Life would never remain the same for me again. How to change your life daily. You see, our lives can be better if we choose to make it better. Yes, troubles are a part of life, but most times, what defines us isn't the troubles we go through, but our attitude towards it. This is a lesson I am still learning to practice. It is a lesson worth sharing with you, whether you're walking, crawling, jogging, hopping, flying or swimming, just make sure you're making progress. It doesn't matter how bad the day can be, you should be making every effort to make sure you become a better person daily. Recently, I discovered a little trick to help me return to being better daily. As I mentioned, I have always loved to read, but I am married now and there seem to be countless responsibilities I have to handle daily. In the last few months, I have been too busy to even read a single book through. For those periods, I have always longed to read because I understood the importance of reading to my life, my impact and my work. Yet, I couldn't find the time to read, until I discovered I could actually listen to audiobooks. Now, audiobooks have been around for a long time, but I never knew I could enjoy listening to audiobooks as much as I do now. It's been a blessing returning again to learning more from books. In the last few days, I started listening to audiobooks. I can't describe to you how my life has changed. Whether you are walking, crawling, jogging, hopping, flying or swimming, just make sure you're making progress. Keep changing or keep dying. Change is a natural part of life. A life that stops changing starts dying. It is as simple as that. Anthony Robbins said, by changing nothing, nothing changes. We are as relevant as we are constantly improving because the world is constantly improving and times are constantly changing. The person who is at the top today could suddenly switch to being below tomorrow. Years ago, seamstresses were making so much money by sewing clothes because there were no sewing machines available. There were millions of seamstresses and business was always available. Suddenly, Singer Company launched this first sewing machine and that became a threat to those seamstresses. In anger and frustration, they tried to burn down the sewing machine factories, but that attempt didn't last long. Things had changed, and if they would make progress, they had to change alongside. Some time ago, I was nearly rejected in my family. I was the only graduate in the family, and everyone expected me to get a job and live a fine life, but I had determined I would become a writer right from the university. And so, as soon as I graduated, I started writing. I was dead broke and still living with my parents at over age 28. My older brother would mug me, saying that I was wasting my time trying to become a writer when I could easily get a job and live fine. Of course, I was frustrated. I started several blogs that failed. I made so many dumb decisions in the writing business that kept me broke. Things began to pan out slowly, but it was definitely slow. My brother was in the fashion design business and was continually raking in lots of money and sending money to my parents. I had nothing to send to anyone, let alone enough to even feed myself. Now fast forward years later and coronavirus pandemic, the tables have turned. Suddenly, how the world does business has changed. I had spent most of my years learning from digital companies and to incorporate them into my skills. Now, I do not write this to mock him, but my older brother suddenly finds that people aren't so interested in making clothes anymore because of social distancing and digital strategies in business are taking over the world. Things are not what they used to be. The truth about this matter is this, innovate or die, change or become irrelevant, improve or become useless. 
If you don't do all you can daily to become a better person, your boss will find a replacement without a single apology to you. Your clients will find someone who is innovative and will push you to the corner. The world will leave you behind while you struggle with old methods. Innovate or die. Change or become irrelevant. Improve or become useless. Become better or grow still. Whether you're walking, crawling, jogging, hopping, flying or swimming, just make sure you're making progress. What you need to do. Once in an interview, Michael Dell of Dell Computers said he will travel the world to get the person who is best at his skill because that way such a person would require less supervision and will always get the job done to his taste. How would you like to be the go-to person in your field? Marketing guru Seth Gudan wrote a book titled Purple Cow. The book centers on being remarkable, standing out of the crowd. If you want to be seen, recognized and become notably successful in today's world, whether you're walking, crawling, jogging, hopping, flying or swimming, just make sure you're making progress. Do all you can now while you can to improve as much as you can. Read books, listen to audiobooks, take an hour off daily to grow yourself. As Brian Tracy would say, become better at what you do every day, striving to be among the top 10% in your field. The reason is simple. If there are 10% successful people in your field, they do not have two heads. They are not better than you. You can achieve the same. I decided long ago not to be behind, so I discovered that I could learn a new skill each month. I can't boast that I have all the money in the world that I need, but I can safely say I have all it takes to turn some things into money, and that's good for me. Whether you're walking, crawling, jogging, hopping, flying or swimming, just make sure you're making progress. If this video inspired you, subscribe to our channel. We love you.